So this question says, which of the following is an example of a function whose graph in the xy plane has no x-intercepts? So I'm going to just draw an xy plane here because out of habit, anytime a question mentions an xy plane, I like to draw it. It doesn't really take all that long. Now, the question doesn't give me any information that I can use within my xy plane, but the answer choices should, in fact, um, provide information that I can use to test within the xy plane to see if, uh, if the answer is correct based upon what I am looking for. So choice A, for instance, says a linear function whose rate of change is not zero. Well, if a rate of change is not zero, and that's the only requirement, then I should be able to make up any number that I want. Um, let's call it two. And then second of all, rate of change will always represent slope, right? So I'm gonna say M equals two. And no matter where I start my line, if M is equal to two, it is going to go through the x-axis and, and through the y-axis as well, right? So as long as I have a slope where I'm going up to and over one, um, that, it will, that will definitely happen. So A is out. For B, a quadratic function with real zeros, well, what does that mean? Real zeros is code for x-intercepts. So keep that in mind. So obviously, um, if a graph has x-intercepts, that means that we can it cannot be the right answer because we're looking for an answer that has no x-intercepts. Choice C, a quadratic function with no real zeros. Well, now that's the exact opposite of choice B, right? So if it has no real zeros, that means it doesn't have any x-intercepts, and that's exactly what we're looking for. So no need to draw anything to test that out. So choice C must be the correct answer. And then choice D, of course, a cubic polynomial with at least one real zero just means that it crosses through the x-axis once, which means it has one x-intercept, but we're looking for a scenario where there are no x-intercepts, which means there are no real zeros. Just reconfirming that choice C is the best answer here.